What's going on, guys? The girls, LA Nick, NHRA Nationals, Pomona. Checking out some of the long dragsters. It's pretty nice stuff. A lot of, lot of, lot of female ride drivers, man. Seen like five female riders. This is the staging line, so they're all getting ready to run. The pro is just ran, man. Stuff's so loud. Nice looking car here. Very nice looking. Different. Vega wagon. Oh, I did. <laughs> Old Vega wagon. Vega wagon? Yeah. Is it a Pino wagon? Maybe it's a Pino wagon. Corvette. Twin turbo over there. I don't usually shoot cars, but I'm looking for the bikes. There's bikes somewhere. I don't know where they are, but there's looking for the bikes. for them so when I find the bikes I'll shoot them all right guys see it What's going on kids LA Nick so today we're at Pomona Speedway for NHRA drag racing we're at Bandero premium to Tila's team and it's a hard sport man they uh they tear these motors down every single run down to nothing and it's a lot of work they got full machine shop in here pretty much and they tear these motors down to pull the pistons out, check all the rings. It's, it's a tough job, man. Every single run. The problem with this sport, it's an expensive sport, man. Big money. So I don't know how anyone would break into it. I mean, look, this is their machine shop and the crew team redo the engines. And this is their food source where everyone stays. So who, who could afford to do it? You'd have to get some pretty big sponsors going on. See, they got inside here's the machine shop. But yeah, it's, it's cost you a fortune to get a team going. I don't know how anyone could afford to do it. Uh, I guess they're going to pull that car up there and they're going to reassemble that engine. Oh, they're going to put it up top for the night. That's cool. I didn't know that. Store it away for the night. Yep, it's going to go right up there. Alright guys, tomorrow I'll shoot some crazy motorcycle drag racing, man. So keep watching, I'll keep posting. See you guys. Oh, I guess they're going to put the body on it. And then put it up. So where are you from in Philly? Uh, South Philly. Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because Philly. Hey, I told you. Oh, okay. South Philly. All yeah. right. South uh, Philly. Oh, yeah. South Philly. Uh, you know Jim Steaks? Jim's? Yeah, of course. Right? Best. I went one night. On South Street. And, uh, you know, everybody talks about Pats and all that. Ah, uh, Jim's is the best. So, Jim's. And I went in there one night, and I love steaks. Uh, cheese steaks. And I had one. I had Mule's two. Not bad. I had three. Mule, Mule's not bad. Huh? Mule's steaks aren't bad if you're not in Philly. Jersey <laughs> Mike's. I hear you. They're hear not you. terrible, man. Really? Jersey Mike's makes cheese steaks? Yeah, I didn't no, know that. Philly right. cheese. Philly right. cheese. Check them out. They make a Philly. All right. And it's pretty good, man. I'm going to steal you for a second. All right. All right. See you guys. That, this cylinder got hot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That cylinder's gotten hot. Not on this run, but like they've gotten hot before. So that's when they get real hot, they'll turn white. And then, some, you know, if you have a problem, like it'll just melt. It'll the melt. aluminum, you know. Yeah. And sometimes yeah, aluminum fixable. starts moving at like 250 or 260, right? Uh, I don't know, uh, personally. So, I, so that's why you have to tear it down every single run. Well, mainly because of like the rods and pistons you know we'll change bearings that, every that, run what, what fails what fails the most fails the most yeah what's the most common failure uh, i mean rod, rod, usually, rod. usually you're putting holes out and then it'll pinch rings or break a you know break a rod uh putting holes out is bad for them you know when you put a cylinder out what, what horsepower is this motor putting out they, they claim like 10 to 11 000. 11 000 horsepower so that's a lot of pressure on the like rod. every run you want to take these out and you want to make sure all your rings are free. So you don't replace them, just check them. Um, you replace some stuff. Like this will get a new top ring every run. Every run. And then the second ring, uh, we run a used one. They'll get new oil rings every one or two runs. But see how, see how all these move free? Yeah, yeah, like you yeah. got to make sure you don't have a pinched ring. Right. And there's only one motor. Huh? There's only one motor. Uh, we, we got one spares. engine. We one, got like five. You got spare engines. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. like five spare Not motor engines, yeah. So you just, but like you check the oh, rod. Sorry. No worries, no worries, no worries. I was thinking after every run, the rods get checked for how much they're they're forking, sure. you know, shrinking from sure. from the runs. And that's why it's an expensive hobby. It gets new, <laughs> yeah, it gets new bearings every run. It's new probably the most plugs, expensive motorsport there is. Um, right? In, uh, probably F one's more. Well, they damn, but that's that's F1s. on a whole but, different league. But run to run, yeah. 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 No, I don't think any other motorsport throws. What's parts a motor, motor cost? An engine. What's an engine cost? 80 grand. 80 grand. Yeah, complete. Probably better, better. Yeah, so this. Brand, brand new. Yeah. yeah, every all the repairs are done right on here, right here. Yeah, yeah. you know, so if it's not repairable, we just throw it out. But those, these trailers are just filled with spare yeah, parts. Yeah, parts, yeah. Pretty cool, man. Thanks. Yep, no Appreciate problem. it. That's yeah, crazy. Here. You got history on this, Barry? What's that? Do you know any history on it? No, I don't, other than it's from the day. Dangerous as hell, man. Sitting right behind a motor oh. that could burst into flames at any second. <laughs> Precision built death trap. Man, this guy's got an amazing house. This is someone's house, by the way, just in case I didn't mention that. And there's a whole other floor downstairs. Look at how nice this is finished. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, spectacular. Full, rest full restoration. Time period, correct wheels. Shot of the cockpit inside. Everything. Yeah, look at that. You're, you're, you literally have the rear end in your lap. <laughs> yeah. The differential's in your lap. How scary would that be with that right in front of you? That blower could blow off at any second. After, after a while, they start putting straps on them. Of so, course. So when they blew off, they didn't hit you in the face. Throw this on there. We're All right. Keep rolling about a crazy art installation completely disassembled tesla in every piece suspended so that's the battery down there but every piece is disassembled wheels tires brakes crazy i had to take some work man ain't much ain't much to it though ain't much to a tesla very little Pretty crazy art installation. Can't really get the gifs of it from a video. You have to see it in person. All right, see you guys. What's going on, guys? Oh, and Nick at the Peterson Car Museum is a, a black, what's it called? Oh, Blind Faith. Black and white El Camino. I don't love it. A lot of customs here, a lot of crazy cars. 
you ever want to come to the car museum, this is the one to come to. Because it's kind of endless. I just came here to see some bikes, but there's not a lot of bikes here. Um, there's a lot of movie stuff, like movie props like this, because we are in Hollywood in LA, so. Poor, poor wind, poor wind. Pretty funky looking. Crazy custom Corvettes, I think. We started with Corvettes. Hanson. Oh, Co 53 Hanson Cobra. Last time I was here, there was way more motorcycles. Crazy custom tea bucket. These are all customs. This thing's pretty radical. Blue flash. Crazy interior. Nice stock Malibu. There's a crazy custom car. I guess they rotate everything because I've been here a lot and saw these cars are all different. Look at this thing. <laughs> What we got here? A V16. Someone welded two blocks together. Welded a crank together. Look at that crazy distributor cat. But it's all disconnected. Wonder why. They can't figure out which like the timing the timing count is. Because all the plug wires are pulled off it. Oh, there's a Darren. The only car with sliding doors. Kaiser Darren. I had this car at one time in my life. Could even been this car because they were all the same color. Great car. Big money today. Can't can't find them. All right, guys. I am gonna keep walking around. If I see stuff cool, I will make sure to shoot it. And. I'll keep filming, you keep watching. Thanks, guys. What's going on, guys, Oh, Nick? This is a, this, I've never seen anything like this. This is a twin crank four, so like an aerial square four. Jordan shaft drive. I've never seen anything like it. Weighs 450 pounds, which is kind of weird that they have that right on there. Doesn't look restored. One one tail light. Crazy dashboard. Really crazy. Really neat. Look at that square four. It's pretty it's pretty crazy. And then here's one of those. We've seen these at Barber. But I didn't see one with the Hercules engine. They had a bunch of these at Barber hanging on a wall. Some Italian, I believe Italian guy made them all. They're pretty, pretty arty, man. But I didn't see one with a Hercules. I'm pretty sure that's a Hercules. Dave from Bullpen will be able to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that is a Hercules engine. It's pretty neat. All right, guys, keep watching. I'll keep filming. See you soon. What's going on, guys and girls? Oh, and Nick. I'm in Los Angeles at the Peterson Museum. I did the Jay Leno collection yesterday, but he wouldn't let me videotape anything. He didn't want to show anyone anything, which I thought was kind of a bummer. But this place is crazy. They got just like every car possible. Like this. It's fantastic. Hello. Hi. Look at that hood. This thing's crazy, man. Just fantastic. They have so much stuff here, it just goes on forever. Jay had some nice stuff too, but doesn't want to show it to anyone. 
he had more motorcycles that's why I went there this is pretty cool never heard of it 59 skim tar it's pretty neat though pretty neat looking car Definitely pretty cool. Good, how are you? Welcome in. Thanks. I got motorcycles, some motorcycles stashed back there, but you're not allowed to walk in between the cars. There should be some bikes in here. Well, here's all the electric bikes. I rode a lot of these a couple years ago and didn't really care for too many of them. 32 Ford. These look like all customs. As we got here, I can't turn, no, I can't turn the light on. Husker, uh, I don't know what that says. I'm blind, so maybe you can see it. Might be a Harley Davidson. Italian made Harley Davidson. What's it say right there? Oh, nope, Husker Varna. 250 Husker Varna military bike. That's Harley Davidson, of course. This is one of those, uh, what do they call this car? Uh, having a mind blank with the front. Tucker, Tucker, front and rear engine. Had an engine in the front and an engine in the rear. It's a pretty crazy design, man. Ford put him out of business. Tucker was a cool car. Two engines, pretty crazy. Yep, I'm in a dead end. See if we can find the bikes, because I gotta meet Barry. The rainbow and four to go to a private motorcycle collection. Nice 41 Ford there. Or Ford, no, oh, 39 Merc. What's the new Tesla doing in here? Ugh. Oh, wow, look at this thing. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. That is crazy cool. I really like that a lot. I like the blue window tint. This thing's cool, man. That is one cool car. All right, guys, I'll keep video. You keep watching. I'll see you soon. I'll find the bikes and videotape for you. See it. What's going on, guys and girls? Ellen Nick, 29 Excelsior Super X. Pretty cool bike, man. Completely restored, of course. But it's pretty cool. It's a simulator? I like the, the dash setup. You don't see these too often. Pretty pretty hard to come by. Here's a 1940 Indian Junior Scout. It's also really cool. Look at that front fender. Fantastic. Big old tack. No speedo. Or uh, actually maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that is a speedo and there's no tack. MV Augusta. 50 Norton. Hey, I got a Benelli Say. Look at that. This wasn't here last time. 76 Benelli Say 750. Aftermarket pipes. Everything else looks pretty stock. Jawa. Pretty nice. 67 production racer. 62 matchless. Motor Perilla. 62 Grand Sport. 1960 R69 Beamer, which I got one of these. Nice looking bike, but slow, 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 man. Barely ride it on modern day roads. 1919 Harley, fully restored, show condition. Over restored, in my opinion. And then we got some sport bikes. The Via Gusta, Pomoda. I don't know what year that Goose, the MV is. Hmm, let me look. 1975. 
right up my alley. 900 RR. <coughs> Excuse me. CBR 600 RR. GSXR Star 750 Limited Edition. And a ZX7 Ninja. We got a couple more over here that I gotta go. Because I gotta jump in an Uber and go meet Barry for another private collection. 28 Indian Scout. And a nice little Triumph Bobber. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching. You keep watching, I'll keep shooting. There's a Mammoth. 74 Mammoth. Look at the size of that motor. The crazy bikes right there, man. Munch Mammoth. Alright guys, I'm going to shoot some more bikes, so I'll see you. 1937 500 Sport. Let's see if she'll fire. She's been sitting on the show. Oh, museum floor for a while. Look at that. God, that was easy. <laughs> I can't believe how easy that started. Right off the museum floor. Sitting in there for a long time, man. That was incredible. That was incredible. Started right up. Instantly. This one off the floor is a 39 500 sport, but low pipe. The last one was a high pipe. It's got a first kick. I don't think this one's going to start first kick. What's up guys and girls, LA Nick in Altadena, California with my friend Johnny who I met through Barry Weiss from Storage Wars and he built this fantastic bike. It is fantastic. Now, this bike had that spring hub in the rear originally, right? Um, not the sprung hub, but um, they had rigid and sprung hubs. Okay, so, so it could have... Well, you don't know which one it was. Sprung so, up, some came with rigid wheels, right. but it would have been a rigid frame. But not bike. a swing arm? No. No, it was, um, this was a swinging arm conversion that was done by a tri um, Triumph of Burbank. Bill Martin was a dealer in the 1950s, and basically he raced sprint cars in the 1930s, and he thought if he can work out a way to get some suspension in his sprint cars, because they were all rigid back in the day, sure. he'd be able to keep the fourth wheels on the ground and get more power. Which he did in the 30s, and he ended up winning races. So he wanted to apply that technology to a motorcycle, 
1952, I believe it was, he built three swinging arm conversions to race at Big Bear. One was to be raced by himself, one by his son, and another one by a gentleman called Vern Roberson. Now, as it happens, the Big Bear Enduro came around. Very grueling race. $500,000 entrance. Yeah. 25, 30 people finish it. Literally. That yeah, brutal. Brutal race. Yeah. And so he thought, well, if I build this swinging arm, and I can, you know, it's going to give me more power, it's going to give me an advantage anyway. Bill ended up going out with a flat tyre. His son ended up going out with a bad clutch. But Vern Roberson, big guy, big fellow as well. <laughs> he ate too many pies, but, you know. <laughs> he ended up winning the Big Bear Enduro in 1950. On this bike? Not on this bike, okay. but on a Triumph Thunderbird with the swinging with arm. With the swing conversion. arm kit? Yeah. So and what, then, did they sell this kit? It was for sale, yeah. It was really? advertised for sale. Um, for a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. And basically, you could, you basically, you would. For instance, here's a rigid stock frame. Right. You would basically unbolt the rear right, section. Right. They unbolt. Yeah, yeah. Take it off and put this and on. Put the new one on. And he used he used shock absorbers from a Chrysler. I was going to say, are these Dodge or they're, Chrysler? They're, they're front <laughs> shocks from a Chrysler automobile. Yeah, I look and familiar. This was uh, the typical Wassel. Yeah. Uh, Wassel. Um, so did the, the kit, the, the kit, the kit just came with the frame and the shocks. Just the frame, the, the shocks, yeah. and the fender. Yeah. Oh, and the fender. Yeah, that for a hundred dollars. For a hundred dollars. Yeah. God, what a deal. Exactly, and uh, so basically, he won the big bear enduro with it, which is a good, good, you know, feather in the cap. And he started advertising them and selling them, and he's, you know, he sold them for for several years after, you know, after that event. But then in 1954. Triumph came out with their own swing arm, sure. which kind of made you, you them a think, bit. You, you think know. they copied him? Well, well, swing arms were on a lot of bikes, though. Not really that many in '52. I mean, well, Italian there was bikes plungers they were. in Italian bikes, yeah. But as far as the Brit stuff, no. But Italians all had swing arms. They did. Yeah, even pre-war. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. He actually made a swinging arm as well for the front, and like um, Earl's Earl's type fork, you know, like yep, BMW sure. deal. He actually made one of them for the front Leading as well. Link. Leading, leading link, link, leading link. That's exactly. Barry's right. Leading link. That's right. So, but yeah, then the pipes I had made, and uh, you know, it uses a stock TR5 gas I think, tank. I think you should paint that black. Yeah, that's going to be. <laughs> that's what Barry said. <laughs> and uh, going to go away. Yeah, it needs to go away. It yeah. takes away from the whole aesthetic. Yeah. Not that I'm putting the bike down. Oh, it's beautiful. No, no, that just knows. that just annoys me. <laughs> he, knows. he mentioned that. But the rest of it is a stock TR5. This is 1949 TR5, yeah, by the way, early, which man. is a unique bike yeah, itself because it's got the unique square barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The square barrels were basically uh, surplus from World War II, where Triumph built these generators for the RAF. Mo most important question: Does it run? Oh yeah, absolutely. Of can we hear? Can we does hear it? Does it run? It's not prepared to run. Okay, today, so it but does it, it does run. run? Okay. Of course it runs. Does Dolly Parton sleep on her back? <laughs> Everything this guy's got. Runs. I don't know. It might, I mean, it might start, but I, I don't, I don't want to put you under so any. I don't want to put no, you on no, the spot, no, man. No, I'm surprised you never want to hear it. Well, I did, but that was. Much I don't want to put you on the spot. Oh, there's so. I mean, Johnny on the spot. Everyone yeah, wants right. to hear him run, man. But you know, I haven't started. It seems great. great. Let's say if it, it does, if it doesn't, if it doesn't start, that's fine. That's right. We'll edit it out. Well, yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> I don't edit. But I'd love to hear it run. If it doesn't start, that's fine. Maybe. Oh. Sounding better. Nope. It's probably the cobweb blocked up. Well, it's something. leaking. Oh, is it, is it flow it's flow stuff? Yeah, no, but it's leaking some fuel. Out of the overflow? No, just. That's what he's meant to do. Out of the carb, yeah. It is leaking, but it wants to go. Yeah, but he's going to get tired of kicking it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. We Especially in the sun. That. It ain't no big deal. Give it one more. Oh, well, you know what? It looks to me like that kill button's stuck. Oh, oh, it is. Well, let's undo the kill. That's definitely stuck. Bold move or rookie mistake, Johnny? That is definitely stuck. Kill switch is definitely stuck. All right, let's see what happens now. This bike is so special. Good looking. right there.
there, man. Yeah, it is. Fantastic, man. All right, guys, thanks for watching, man. We're going to shoot some more. we got a lot of bikes here. See ya.